Hey everyone, my name is Patrick McCartan. Uh, I'm Irish. I'm now 46 years of age and I live in the USA, born in Ireland. And the reason why I'm recording this is because I want to start documenting my journey, uh, which is all around the loss of my brother which we believe the murder of my brother, which happened in France in 1994. It's been a really, really difficult journey ever since. And uh, I'm going to be using this platform to talk more about it and, and coping with PTSD, coping with trauma. Um, and really also hoping that this will move our case forward, our campaign forward in our quest to seek justice for my brother Shane, who was 21 stroke 22 when we believe he was taken from us by, I won't say too much, but uh, by a, a group of people in the south of France, in, Car uh, in La <clears throat> just outside La Grasse in France in 1994. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about things as we go along, but really this, the purpose of this is one is to help me, uh, go through this process and, uh, really document the process and help me become a better person basically, but also to hopefully help others who deal with loss and who deal with trauma. Um, and there's ways to get around this and there's ways to live with the loss and the tragedy of, of losing someone and, and people that we love. It happens every day. Everybody goes through it at some stage. Some are, some are, some are extreme situations. Some are not so extreme, but everybody has to deal with loss. I would consider uh, the, the the experience that we've had to go through as a family um, as extreme and I'll share more about that as we go along you know the reason one of the reasons why I'm starting this too is because I you know I've been getting therapy and everybody should be everybody should get therapy whether it's therapy for stress or or anxiety or for on the positive side too, everything's positive when you do therapy because it's helping you. It's helping you grow. It's helping you deal with whatever you're trying to deal with. And I've found that therapy is, is a game changer for me because the, the, the dealing with the anger and the frustration when you have someone taken away from you and that when you have no justice and when you have a case that's closed, and you just close the book and let the family deal with this forever. That creates a lot of frustration and anger. And as I always say, my brother Shane got the death sentence. We got the life sentence. <clears throat> and there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to live with it. But I do find that therapy is really, really helping. And I urge anybody out there to, to get therapy, whether you're dealing with something, whatever it might be. Again, it's, it's, it really, really, really helps. And it really is helping me. Um, as an example, a few, about six months ago, I was back home in Ireland and we had a meeting with our family and some close friends and some allies. Uh, around how we move forward with this campaign to seek justice for my brother, Shane. And, you know, it was difficult. It was super difficult. And we spent hours and hours going through a lot of the detail of these, these the case and the reports that were put out there by the, the, by the French police. And, and uh, a lot of the interviews were shared. There's so much information that, we couldn't get through at all, but the little bit of information that we did get through, which took several days to get through that small amount was, was harrowing was, was shocking. Um, 
and I came back numb. I came back, I came back a, a, a real mess. And and my therapist did say that I was very much disconnected. He was he was concerned for my well being. He was like, you know, you're really you're really struggling, and I was really struggling. Yeah, I was really struggling. It was really really difficult, and um. It's it, it it a part of it is the anger that's that's in there, you know. The the it's trying to deal with the anger and the frustration. You know, this all happened at the end of ninety four. Ever since, it's just been anger and frustration. And it, and, and 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 it really is trying to live with that and deal with that. Um, it's like my day every day is is like sk- skating on thin ice and anything can set you off and nobody wants to live that way nobody wants to be you know any type of little trigger may cause your your anger to come out you know and i'm not talking about any violence or anything like that or 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 hitting people or or anything anything bad at all like that i'm just talking about my own feeling of 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 anger that's always in there very close that is ready to come out and to you know i might f you some f bombs or 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 use some very bad words or you know whatever it might be or might shout or whatever uh i I don't like that i hate it because it's not it's not me and it, it, it it it's it's just so difficult every day to have to deal with that to be someone in that you're not really and and it, it it is what it is at the end of the day. So I've had to, you know, face a lot of lessons and deal with uh, deal with the, this process of, of trauma and um, you know the 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 groups that were were with my brother in in France. Well, I'll talk about that at some stage. I have to be cautious about what I'm saying here, as we are in the process of doing a huge. Uh, investigation into this but the fact that these people would be unwilling to help and 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 support and just walk away it's very it's very sad you know it's very disheartening and it doesn't give a great it doesn't paint a very great picture of humanity of, of 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 the human side of people and that's also been a frustration. So there's many, many different levels and layers to this frustration. Um, but I'm going to use this going forward to document my feelings, my thoughts, how I'm coping. Um, and I'm hoping that there can be some learns here. And really, at the end of the day, how I've managed to do this is this a big, huge ball of energy, it's a negative energy that that is there all the time. And that energy is is either it can take you down one road or it can take you down another road one road to pain or one another road to positive gain and somehow i've been able to sort of switch that around uh you know i made a conscious decision to say right I'll, I, i've had enough of living in this negativity i need to do something about this and so i decided to leverage the, the the negative energy to be able to propel me forward to do positive things and have a positive impact and be a good positive person and do good things in the world and have a positive impact not just on my family but also in the world and that's really my my mission and purpose in life is really to have a positive impact and to leave some type of whether it's a small or large legacy that can help others in the future. And um, that's that's one of my, my missions and purposes. Um, it's managing the anger. It's, it, again, shifting the, the, the anger to do something positive. Uh, and again, the therapy is, is something that's been ongoing, that will always be ongoing. And whether, you know, whether I had to go through this or not, I think everybody should get therapy because this is a really crazy world out there and everybody's got to deal with their own challenges and there's a huge amount of stress and and anger and frustration and pressure out there and everybody needs to get therapy i couldn't recommend it more 
If it can help me, it can help you. So I highly recommend it. And it's something that we should talk about. Um, you know, mental health is comes in many, many different forms. And, you know. It's nine o'clock. You know, there's many, many different solutions to uh, uh, mental health. But. And we all have to deal with it in some form or another. So I, I strongly urge you to seek help if that's what you need um, to help you have, live a better life and become a better person. So what really also, and I'll, I'm going to wrap this up pretty quickly here because I'm going to do a, 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 a continually do these. They're helping me to talk about it. And uh, I'm hoping it'll help you. But you know, to see, this is this is where it gets really tough for me, is to see my, to see my mom have to do, my mom have to go through this and the pain that she's had to go through for so long. Um, it's really, really difficult because she was the most beautiful soul you know, she's a Mother Teresa type soul, a beautiful, pure soul of goodness. And just people love her and warm to her. I have always, always have done and always will do. And uh, beautiful mum. And to see her have to go through, yeah, this is where, where it gets difficult, to see her have to go through what she's had to go through. Um not just the loss of her son, but in the way it, way it happened and then the mistreatment of her and the clo clo closing of a case and then to have to deal with her two sons that had to also endure this, this, this torment. Uh, uh, and, and, and we were, we were, we were no, we're no saints. Um, as we were going from 16, when it happened, I was 16, my brother was 14, you know, then we had to go through this, storm of trying to figure this all out and this was very difficult for her to also see because we we struggled with all of that and um that's one of the hardest things too is to see my mom have to go through that and obviously my dad too and and they've they've it's heartbreaking it's just not there's no other word to say it's just in pure heartbreaking and i think you know I, I'm hoping that some someday that this will come out and it'll it'll teach lessons to others out there um, that we need to be careful and we need to take care of each other because there's bad people out there. It's a dangerous world. And if we lose our loved ones to the bad people in the dangerous world, then it's a lifelong nightmare. And my mum, nobody understands what she had to go through in, in and has gone through and still gone through, of course, but really what she had, had to go through. Nobody will ever understand unless we come out with some type of book to explain it all and or, or some other platform where we can tell the story and again i'm being very limited with the information here because i have to be but um we'll talk about that at some stage but i'm going to cut it off here because there's only so much i can talk about it each time and thanks for listening and i'll see you on the next update